Hi, I'm Raj, and if you haven't been to my channel, it's great to see you here. If you are a software dev, you might have heard about this tool called Perplexity AI. It's an AI-powered search engine where you get human-like answers along with sources and also images when you enter a search query. But what if I tell you that someone has built an open source app that looks and feels a lot like Perplexity using Next.js and AI SDK? This app is called Morphic, and it looks and feels a lot like Perplexity. And not only that, the code base is available on GitHub, and it's completely open source. With that being said, what we're going to do is, first, we're going to take a quick demo of how this app works. Then we're going to take a look at the architecture of the app. And finally, we're going to take a look at the code base so that you can also build something similar on your own. The app looks super minimal, and you only have a search field. Once you enter a search term, you're taken to the next step. The next step is usually the intermediary step called inquiry. And in the inquiry, we make the AI ask for more details if the query is not specific enough. And sometimes you may not see the step if the AI thinks that the query is clear. If the query is clear, it will hit a web search API to get a search information object with images and sources and some text content regarding the sources. Once it gets the images and sources information, the app puts this information in two different components and streams the UI to the client side. And then it streams the answers from the LLM back to the client side. And this is the answer based on the web search API results. Right after the answer, you also get related queries information streamed in. Then another component to ask follow-up questions. If you ask the follow-up question, then this whole process repeats again. Now that you've seen how this works, let's take a look at the architecture of the app. First, when the user submits the search query, we call a server action. And the server action calls our first agent called task manager to understand the question. If the question is not clear, then it moves on to the inquiry step. In the inquiry step, we have an agent that will generate some few options for the user to select and get more details about the query. Once they select it, it will add the selected details to the query and move to the next step. The next step goes to the agent called researcher. This researcher agent has access to tools to search the web and get the web search results. Once it gets the web search results with images and sources information, both the images and sources information are popped into UI and streamed to the client side while the LLM prepares the final answer. Once the final answer is available, then the researcher agent streams in the final text. After this, the query suggestion agent kicks in and gets related queries based on the user query and streams the output along with the UI. And finally, the follower panel UI is streamed to the client. Now that you understand the architecture, let's jump into the APIs and the code. The APIs belong to the generative UI APIs from the AI SDK. The first few APIs that you need to know about are AI state, UI state, and create streamable UI. The AI state is a JSON input you pass into the LLMs and can be accessed both on the server and the client side. And then we have the UI state that holds all the messages we show to the user, and it can only be accessed on the client side. And then we have a create streamable UI API to create a UI stream which is used to send React nodes to the client side as part of a stream from the server side. As far as I know, you can send both client and server component updates as part of this API, which is really cool. And on top of that, we also have a few APIs that are used to build our LLM agents. The first one is called Generate Object API, where we make the LLM give output based on a schema. And the Stream Object API, where we make the LLM stream the generated object. The stream object API is really useful in generating UI as we stream outputs from the LLMs. And finally, we have stream text API, which is used to stream text back to the client side. Now, if you look at the code base, we have some UI components for chat and also a component called Copilot, which is used to generate the inquiry UI. And we have four LLM agents that we talked about. The first one is the task manager, and then we have the researcher and then we have inquire, and then we have the query suggestion. Then we have our server action. This is where all the magic happens. When the user enters the query, we come inside to check if the next step is inquire based on task manager's output. If yes, 
we go to the inquire agent and get a stream object from the inquire agent and update the copilot UI with the stream object and also stream the UI back to the client side. Once we move on from the inquire step to the next step, where we pass on the query to the researcher agent and call the web API to get the results. And inside the researcher agent, we have a function call to search the web. At the time we call this function, we also stream the pending UI updates back to the client. Once we get the answer from the web search API, we send the images and the social sections back to the client through the UI stream. And after that, we let the LLM get our final answer and we stream the text to this stream text value, which again updates the answer section UI with our tokens. And once this agent is finished, we hand over the final UI updates to the query suggestion agent in order to generate the related queries UI. Then we have our follow up panel streamed at the end and close our UI stream. This UI stream is a super powerful API as it enables your agents to make UI updates as they do their task. That's pretty much it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more and I will talk to you soon.